in the last few days the news regarding maldives and india relations is something that is like the hot cake everyone is listening to it everyone is reading about it everyone is trying to understand it but when it comes to upsc exam there are many things that a budding aspirant should know that a budding aspirant should explore it is not just a small issue or a bilateral issue between india and maldives it is indeed a bilateral issue but when we try to understand it on the broader you know platform it is more about india and china relations it is more about the maritime security it is more about that china string of pearls or contain india or encircle india policy it is more about india's counter mechanisms it is about the influence in the indian ocean it is more about the broader idea of the global trade routes the maritime routes it is about so many things but unfortunately many of the students are not able to understand that to what an extent and in all what all ways you have to read about it you have to understand it you have to analyze it and then you have to prepare a comprehensive note about it having said all this let me be humbly honest that to cover the entire topic in all these dimensions in a single video is neither possible nor desirable though it can be possible but the video's length will be so long that many of you may lose your interest so today my humble effort here will be to give you as wide as panoramic a view of the issue as i can so that your understanding of india maldives relations develops in a more comprehensive manner so let's first understand few things here let's start with two ideas china string of pearls and india's counter strategies a comprehensive comparison now if i talk about that string of pearls idea now what china is trying to do here if we try to understand that what exactly is china's intent or china's plan even though officially china may continue to decline so here china itself is sitting right and we share boundaries with china in the askaichin area that is occupied by china in india's legitimate territory of kashmir and in that pakistan occupied territory of kashmir that pok so china has started developing some sort of road and rail networks this is the karakoram highway right so they are developing a road connect through which the regular chinese armies can move towards pakistan territories now china itself sits here and then through this karakoram highway they are connecting with pakistan in pakistan they have developed a port gwadar port right in sri lanka they developed hamban tota port then in bangladesh they developed chittagong port right these are just few points in this video i will be talking about many of those important points that we need to know now we have to understand that this is maldives right now this is very important if you want to encircle india you need to have your control over maldives and india would always prefer to have a friendly regime in maldives india would love to have a friendly regime in sri lanka in burma myanmar bangladesh we would love to have a very cordial relations if not with pakistan at least with afghanistan and iran now that explains india's response when we talk about chabar port when we talk about our relations with oman to understand that why india and china would always like to control these sea routes we have to understand another very important thing in which i will also be talking about india's this necklace of diamonds idea where india to counter this china's policy of containing india or encircling india india is now trying to cultivate more deeper more strategic relations with countries like japan vietnam singapore and indonesia then uh, seychelles and mongolia and iran and oman so that we can also create a ring around 
that ring which china is trying to create around india so in what way what we need to understand here is that if this is india and china is trying to encircle us so in the idea of that concentric circle we have to create the third circle so india then this is strings of pearls and then this is diamond necklace right so india being surrounded by china and china being countered by india now this is one picture another bigger picture is at the global level where usa european union russia australia and many other countries even africa they all are party to this now when i talk about africa right when we talk about africa here we have the region of africa and here we have that red sea right this red sea brings us into the indian ocean into the arabian sea then to the indian ocean then we go towards bay of bengal from where we move towards the south china east china sea so this entire trade route maritime route is very important and why china is becoming so very aggressive so so much assertive in this region because they want to control this trade route india would never want that it should have any monopoly over the trade routes that has never been any policy of india at any given time what we want what as a nation as a civilization as people we want we want freedom of these trade routes we do not want monopolies we do not want conflicts we do not want militarization of the sea we want freedom we want peace we want prosperity we believe as a nation in the idea of vasudev kutumbakam where we want all the nations to work together to 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 enjoy the prosperity together and we we are those uh, among those few countries perhaps who always talk about matrata mitrata or matri friendship be it the covid time or whatever so having said all this i hope you understand that india is not doing all this with any intent of monopolizing or militarizing the sea india's response is basically in reaction to china's efforts to either monopolize or to militarize the seas or the ocean right so understanding this further now if i talk about in a very comparative manner so the countries and the areas or the water bodies and the chalk chalk points and then the chinese establishments and india's counter strategies let's look at myanmar first so where it is it is towards andaman sea right so chinese uh, presence here is seen as kapuch deep sea port which is basically a having a dual use potential where strategic investments in infrastructure and resource extraction is one of the policies adopted by china india then comes up with its project mosam where we develop andaman and nicobar island increase the naval and air presence in andaman sea improve our military cooperation with myanmar burma so that we can counter the chinese threat in this area similarly if i talk about bangladesh the area here is bay of bengal and china has developed the chittagong port and india is trying to upgrade the chittagong port and enhance diplomatic and economic ties with bangladesh and the recent elections of a pro india government in bangladesh is something that is a matter of relief continuing from here if i look at project uh, mosam and sagarmala projects this sagarmala project here is not exactly something that relates to it but something that you should understand that we have to connect every dot inland riverine be it cruise right be it trade be it security everything has to be robust now we cannot take any chances there is another sagar ratna project even we will talk about it some other day right so this is project mosam where india is trying to project its old relations uh, you know revive the old relations with the countries in the area and this sagarmala network where we are trying to connect with the dots within india so that there can be swift trade there can be tourism there can be security right so everything is connected 
This is China's string of pearls that we have been talking about. They are developing logistics and infrastructure. Now, when I talk about Sri Lanka, the Hamban Tota port, Maldives in the Indian Ocean, in Sri Lanka, that Hamban Tota port that, that is being developed. What India is trying to do, we are trying to develop Trinakomali and Uluville ports and then we are trying to strengthen our maritime cooperation with Sri Lanka. There is quadrilateral initiative quad with US, Japan and Australia to counter this Chinese threat. And then in Maldives, the, the, the thing from where we started today's session, right? So India is trying to develop the infrastructure. We are trying to increase our maritime patrols and intelligence gathering. The things are not taking, you know, right. Uh, uh, the things are not moving in the right direction at the right pace. But have faith, have trust. India as a nation has always been very close to Maldives and even the people of Maldives understand this and there is a lot of unrest when they are moving towards China, when the present government in Maldives is moving towards China because China is popular, right, rather ingloriously popular in, uh, in famous for or famous for something called debt traps. They give money, they trap you and then they misuse you for their ulterior motives, right? So these are some of the important places that you should keep in mind. I will be sharing this with the video as a link. So do follow us. I will also be sharing this on my uh, Twitter handle and there will be a link of my Twitter as well. And you know what you can do? You can ask me on which particular topic you want me to made a, make a video. And I would love to make a video on any topic given by students that relates to UPSC, right? So if we, if we talk about Seychelles, this is an Indian Ocean. China is making huge investments in tourism and infrastructure. India's project Sagar Ratna Port Development in Mauritius and Seychelles. It is again to enhance military and naval cooperation. Then when we talk about Pakistan, there is Arabian Sea. Pakistan is like any day a stooge of uh, China. So we have Gwadar Port, that's a CPEC project and potential military bases for China. So to counter this, we have developed, India has developed or like we are into the project called Chabar port in Iran so that there is increased naval and air presence in Arabian Sea, right? Again, the same map so that you can again and again look at these important places as UPSC keep on asking us places in news and location on maps. Then there is Oman. The most important thing here is that choke point called Strait of Hormuz. Then investments in Dukam port and potential military access. What India is trying to do, we are trying to improve our military ties with Oman and UAE. And you will get another tweet talking about India UAE relations. Even today it is in news, right? Then if we talk about Djibouti, that is Red Sea, Bel Al Mandeb. It is in news, you would have heard about the Houthis and uh, then the attacks on the, uh, you know, uh, naval ships or the maritime uh, uh, ships going in this region by the Houthis from Yemen, right? This was in news. So Djibouti port development and military base by China and India's idea to develop a sub port in Ritiria, increase naval presence in Red Sea. So this is your diamond string. So all this is very important. Now let's not forget to understand these additional points. Land choke points, Karakoram Highway and Railways in Pakistan serve as a strategic military links. India aims to counter them through improved border infrastructure and regional alliances and we are working very strong on it. Now I would rather appreciate you talking about these things that what regional alliances India is making, you can talk about look east to act east policy in the comments you can you know either share your knowledge or you can ask me questions on the things that you want me to clarify let's make these videos more beneficial more interactive where you ask and i or my team then make specific videos on the things that you demand then india's naval modernization project 751 Submarine program 75I, 751, different people call it by different names. Aircraft career development, acquisition of advanced warships are the key initiatives to counter China's naval dominance. Now you have to ask yourself, do you know what all acquisitions are there? What all is indigenously being designed or built by DRDO? What all steps are we taking? 
then diamond necklace strategy we have already talked about it india's counter string of pearl strategy involved developing ports of military facilities in seychelles mauritius madagascar and east africa then there are some other considerations india's growing nuclear arsenal space and cyber capabilities and diplomatic partnerships play crucial role in deterring china so here you have to ask yourself what all details you know or would like to know you can comment and we can make a video for you i hope this series will definitely give you more and more satisfaction to understand the topics in more comprehensive manner and prepare for this exam with lot of more confidence and comfort and ease if you like this initiative by raj malhotra's ies you can give a comment a like and you can subscribe to this channel you can share this video and here is a small news for all of you we raj malhotra ies chandigarh are now starting our center offline center in delhi old jindanagar and in indore madhya pradesh and at both these centers we are going to first give you a taste of what our personal mentorship is all about so we are coming up with 45 days absolutely free ncert course in delhi as well as in indore for details you can click on the link given in the comment section and you can register yourself god bless you all best of luck